I'm going to ask a Syrian question of you now because you are quite Christian. I presume you still are. I don't know. You were quite Christian, when, when, especially at your wedding. And is these are these groups of people more predominantly Christian that are anti the vaccine, or am I just being biased? Since I was on ZB, I um, struggled with that word, Christian. The Christian word, yeah. And it's not okay. because I have a problem with people identifying themselves at it. It's that I'm a effective and smart communicator. We'll be talking about how to be ineffective and an unsmart communicator with Chris Luxon later on this hour. But yeah. I know and I've read the research that says the word Christian is interpreted by between 75 and 95% of people to be changeable with hypocrite, judgmental, um, homophobe, all, you know, all these things. Yeah. And so I'm like, because when I was on ZB, I was talking to 100,000 people a week. I'm like, why would I label myself with something that's going to put into someone else's heads their judgments and uh, observations of me? When actually yeah. that's not not who I am, which is kind so, of nuts too, because I'm atheist as, and I grew up and went to Catholic school, and that's what often sends one to atheism. I find, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, like you, you, I find it astonishing that you know it's apparently in the states they did a survey and they said that um and they trusted atheists less than pedophiles. Wow, well, like what? So it just this association with all of it. It should just be about whether you're a good person. And I know that you yeah. don't judge other people for what they believe, which is the most fundamental thing. So that is nuts. That it was uh, synonymous with. Did you say hypocrite? Yeah, hypocrites in there, homophobes in there, judgmentals in there. I think there's another word which I can't remember right now. But between 75 and 95 percent of people respond and say that the words are interchangeable. So wow. as a communicator and a broadcaster, like I used to get this on ZB. We're a bit of a tangent now, but we like tangents here. Mm. I used to get this on ZB a fair bit. Like I'd talk about something, and people would send me messages saying, "I thought you were supposed to be a Christian. Why are you talking about that?" And I, oh. and my response to them was, "You define what that word means to you, yeah. right? You define what it means." Yeah. And then I'll tell you whether I fit into your definition or not. Yeah. Because on one aspect, it means, you know, the more money you've got, the more godly you are. That's literally a belief within that church. On another one, it means, you know, all, all gay people are horrible people and they're going to, there's a detriment and downfall of society. On another level, it means um, I, I do need to liter literally give the shirt off my back if someone else needs it. You know, and, I, and if, I, if I was going to be associated with that word, um, I'd rather be down the end of giving the shirt off my back and and that than the other end. But because you can't have a conversation with someone, I'm reticent to acknowledge that word for myself on a on a media outlet only mm. because people will interpret it their own way. So if you want to know what I am, I'd go, I think the teachings of this dude Jesus are fucking amazing. You know, look after the widows and orphans, you know, um, you know, put others before yourselves, be sacrificial you know, love your neighbor. I don't think anyone can ever challenge those teachings. And I'm down to be associated with those teachings. And however you want to do it, you fucking do it. Now, mm. to your question, yes, there are a lot of people in the church world <laughs> who have gone down the rabbit hole of, of this. And I yeah. don't know why. And it frustrates me more than anything yeah. because going back to what I just said about the teachings of this dude, um, JC, I, I have a t-shirt uh, a, a that was like, Jesus is my homeboy. I love that t-shirt. Um, yeah. It was all about caring for others. It was actually about caring for others above yourself. There are many examples in that big dusty book where Jesus actually went, you know what? Under the law or under the rules of society right now, you're right. You're right to stone that woman to death. That's correct. That's what the law says. But hang on. What about you, fucker? What about you? What have you done that has broken the law that could also equal and stone her death? And if you've done nothing, sure, biff it, chuck her, stone her. But if you've done one thing that actually technically would be in the same place, you should probably leave her alone. I know so, which parable you speak of. He yeah. without spin cast the first stone. So there we so, are. So in that in context, I kind of think about these, these let's use the word anti-vaxxers, especially who are church associated. I kind of go, even if you have a religious you know, you know, like objection to it. And if you accept the science, now there's a leap there that maybe they don't, but you accept the science, looking after the widows and orphans and the elderly and the vulnerable is actually the way your, your kind of boss man demonstrated more important on, on many levels than looking after yourself. Yeah, so when I hear these arguments and when I hear these, you know, pushbacks, and when I hear these, how dare the government and, you know, all these sorts of things, I'm like, actually, you know, your your primary job is to look after the person next to you and mm. you fighting for your rights is the opposite of that. 
So when you say, are they Christian? I go, well, they're people who associate themselves with church, but they're not very Christ-like. 